My name is Alexi Payton Rivas. I go to Park Rose High School and I'm a senior. And the people that are in my family are my two brothers and my mom. Yes, my dream is to be a fashion designer. I actually would love to open my own business, like be a big designer like Gucci or something. It's kind of like an outlet, like it takes my mind off everything and just helps me feel at peace with myself. And it's a way of expressing how I feel and I just want to be able to inspire people and I hope like I can do that with my clothing. I tell all my kids, you know, like, you guys are meant for greatness. And, oh, sorry. And what I mean by that is don't stop yourself. Um, but she stops herself. A, a lot. Um, as a kid, I was very shy. In elementary school, I would always hang out with the principal during recess. And <laughs> she'd always be like, go have fun and play and stuff like that. But I just could not. Like, it would give me too much anxiety to just have to, like, talk to people. So my hopes for Alexi is for her to just get out of her own way. I met Alexi uh, just at a table during lunch. And, you know, she seemed very shy, very reserved, very quiet, but she was laughing at everything. How you doing, kiddo? Hello. What's going on? Nothing, just. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't deal with you, man. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, when I first met you, you know, you was quiet. You used to be like, hi. <laughs> Definitely proud. But Paul has been amazing. He's like, like a father figure of Elevate, making sure that we're open-minded and have enough knowledge in our head. And yeah, <laughs> he's a good person. Sometimes kids, they don't see what they're capable of and then you become a tool in their toolbox, and then they just transition onto greatness. You know, you're a multiracial kid. You're like Salvadorian and black. And so I was like, you know, you're gonna deal with certain things, and but don't let that stop you. And that's when she said that Elevate brings people that look like them. It's so important for them to see people that look like them to, make them feel like it's possible, I can do it. Uh, well, Paul, like he told me in advance, he was like, oh yeah, this artist is gonna come to our class, so make sure you're there. And I was like, well, of course I'm gonna be there. <laughs> but once she came like, and then left, Paul was like, I think you should really reach out to her. It took me a few days to get the courage to do it, but I was like, what's the worst that could happen? It did surprise me that I was like open enough to <laughs> text somebody that's, inspiring and big like that and she said if i ever like needed anything or anything like that that i could hit her up that's dope yeah but i'm glad you guys connected like you never know what could happen she's definitely more confident now she's more outgoing more willing to you know speak up voice her opinion and really just take control of her her future you know, feeling more confident. Um, I believe Paul pushes her to that. I was like 6.45 in the morning. I was going to work and uh, I got an email from Howard and they're like, oh, you got accepted to our design program. And I was so excited. I didn't know what to do. I wanted to go home. I was like, I don't want to be here. I want to celebrate. Honestly, I mean, there's, there's no way to describe it. It's exciting just to be able to be, you know, part of her journey. As a single mom, how does it help you to have programs like Elevate, you know? I think about me. There's that extra layer of support, people that love my children. Relationships are at the forefront of what we do here at Elevate Oregon. I know for me, growing up personally, uh, relationships were, were very instrumental in, in my growth and in my success as a young man. Um, most of my basketball coaches uh, from, from high school all the way up into Division I uh, junior college were very instrumental in to the point where I can go and talk to them about anything and they were willing to sit down and talk to me. 
the relationships between our uh, teacher mentors and our students are vital. And, and the reason is that these kids, they need someone to look up to, they need someone to share stories with, and in return, our mentors become their number one cheerleaders and help drive their dreams and their missions in life as well.